Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 1st of 2023. Well, it is titled Monster Solar Prominence. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the limb of the sun. Now that's the limb of the sun is dark and blackened out there in the foreground so that we can actually see what's going around on the edge. And there we see where all the activity is. Now most of this is hard to see if you look at just the face of the sun. And that's because the sun is so bright that it would block out this from being visible. However, when we can see it around the edge of the sun, we can actually see things like the prominences that we see here. Now a prominence is just material from the sun that has been lifted off the surface by the magnetic field of the sun. It has a very strong magnetic field capable of lifting large amounts of material up above the surface. And these prominences can easily be larger than Earth. So that's larger than our entire planet there and sometimes several times larger than our planet. The material is lifted off and then rains back down on the surface. So these can take a number a little while to uh, a while to go through their lives. And in fact, they might take a month or so that they may be lifted up slowly over the course of a week or two and then slowly rain back down over the course of a week or two. And that is again material that's been lifted off the surface of the sun. So it is still extremely hot. Um, surface of the sun itself is about 6000 Kelvin. And here we would have material being lifted off that surface. So still extremely hot. We can see how bright it is against the background of space around it. Now this is a prominence. We can also get more violent storms which are known as solar flares. Now while this might take a week to lift that material off, a solar flare could whip that material out in hours or even minutes and just rip that material off the surface. The magnetic field is strong enough that it can do that and expel that material into space. So while the prominence we see here is confined to the sun, a solar flare, which is a much stronger version of this, can actually send that material out into the solar system. And if it happens to come in the direction of Earth, that's when we will get an unusually strong aurora, when we have a lot more particles from the sun that are illuminating and exciting the molecules within our atmosphere and causing them to glow. So it's this is kind of a lesser version of a solar flare that we often see the results of here on Earth in terms of the aurora. Now we're seeing a lot more solar activity now. So the sun is becoming extremely active. So we see things like the solar flares, the prominences, sunspots, and that will likely increase over the next couple of years as the sun approaches its maximum. At this point, we're projecting the maximum to be reached in sometime in 2025. It reaches a maximum about every 11 years, but it's not precise, so it could vary a little bit by that. But based on how it's been working right now and on previous cycles, we expect that around 2025, we will reach another maximum, which means that over the next couple of years, we can expect far more prominences such as the one see here as well as seeing more solar flare activity and increased auroral activity here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for August 1st of 2023. It was titled Monster Solar Prominence. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.